Hi guys, Mark here with Walter's World, and we're at the Grand Canyon. As you can see it behind me, it is beautiful. Sorry about the wind, hope you'll be okay. And today we're gonna to talk about our first mover advantages and first mover disadvantages. So the pros and cons of being the first mover, first mover in an industry. Now, the good thing is, when you're the first mover, hey, you are the original brand. You set the standard. You're what everyone judges it against. Rollerblades, hey, any inline skates, it's judged against rollerblades. You see these kind of things. So that's a big, really big advantage. You are the industry. You are the standard, okay? Now, some other good stuff is if you're gonna come out the first mover, you can protect your IP. You're the first one to do it. Say, hey, look, I'm the first one, so it's mine. So I'm an iPhone, I get to have the rounded corners so you can protect your intellectual property. Also, it helps you gain quick market share. So if you're the first one out there, hey, I can grab it up when no one else is out there. You know, if you look at the um, the Toyota Prius, you know, they were the first one out there, so they got this huge market share of the, of the you know, environmentally friendly cars, and then everyone else came. So they got that big initial market share to help them out. Some other advantages you have is one, if you're the first one out there, you're making the products first, so you can get these economies of scale, so you can you know spread out your costs more. Also, you have the learning and curves effects. Because you're the first one to do it, you learn the mistakes first and you learn from yourself. So, hey, you're farther down the production line, you've learned a lot more stuff of how things work, so that really does help and gives you a really big advantage. Another thing is you get to obtain strategic resources because you see your product needs certain stuff. Oh wait, we need to have all of the Angus beef out there to have these special Angus beef burgers. Well, you can buy up all the Angus cows, for example, or it might be, you know, chips for a computer or whatever. Okay, another thing you want to look at is you can develop an exclusive relationship with retailers, with suppliers, kind of goes into that getting the strategic, you know, getting the resources. You can develop those things so they're just working with you, not the other guy. So that's another big thing. Out there. Also, by having those relationships, you can get people locked in. And once they're using yours, hey, I already bought a Nintendo. Why do I want to pay for all those games again to buy a PlayStation? You're the first one out there. People have already locked into you, so you're making it switching costs for suppliers, for consumers to not use your product. And also, if you're the first one out there, you get to charge a price premium. I'm the first mover. I'm the first one out there. You're going to do business with me first. So, hey, you're willing to pay more for it because I was the innovator. I was the first one. So that gives you that gives you a, a bonus. And if you see the price premium, as more and more people come in, prices come down. The competition brings down the prices. So if you're the first mover, you can get that extra margin for a, for a period of time. And, of course, you are one step ahead of the competition. You are the first mover. So you're the first one out there. So that that's there. So that's, that's the advantages. So there's some of the advantages out there. There are more, but those are some of the advantages. But what are some of the disadvantages? Well, one, it costs a lot of money to be first. You're the one out there spending the money, doing all those developmental costs. Also, the second movers, the late movers, they can learn from your mistakes. Okay. If, you know, Wendy's sees that McDonald's codfish burger was a disaster, they won't do it. They're like, hey, we, we learn from their mistakes. So people can learn from it. Also, if you're the first mover, the market might not be ready for it. So the product could fail. All right, so you, you gotta look at those things. Also, since you're the first one out there, you're doing something new, you're gonna have higher costs for the resources you use because people aren't making, it's not a standard product and standard supplies that they're giving to you to make this new product because you're the first one out there. So it's gonna cost more money. And another disadvantage is the co that your competition, they can backward engineer your product. Because if it's out there, they can see, how did they do this? How did they do this? They can play with it and figure out how to do it themselves and come up with their own version of the product to go around your patent protection, your IP protection. Also, if you're the first one in the market, people might have an idea, ah, this is what the first um, eye tracking software is going to be. This is what the first uh, stair climbing robot is going to be. They have expectations. And if you're the first one out there, you might disappoint them because you don't live up to those expectations. So you got to make sure you know the expectations of the clients are when you develop that product, when it comes out. Also, you might not get government approval. You know, you have to pass certain criteria, safety regulations, all these things, in order for your products to be sold. And hey, you know what? They might say, hey, we don't know if the dung beetle juice, even if you say it's healthy, we don't know if we want people to buy that. So you look at it, there might not be government approval, so that can be a problem. And then also, people might just not want to buy it, okay? It might be, hey, you know, it's too expensive to switch to this new product, or frankly, I'm happy with the product I'm in, and people might not just buy it, okay? So that gives you guys some of the pros and cons, or advantages and disadvantages of being a first mover. I hope this helps. If you want to learn more about business, please check us out on our website at www.waltersworld.com. Bye from the beautiful Grand Canyon in Arizona, USA. Bye.